Migos' official world's greatest superheroes hit stores in 1972. They were a smash success, overthrowing G.I. Joe as the top action figure line and firmly establishing Mego as the action figure king. Mego's reign lasted through the mid-70s as they churned out figures based on TV, movies, and historical legend. Mego experimented with the 10 and 12 inch figures, their bread and butter were the 8 inch figures. The smaller size made them less expensive and easier to play with, and became the standard format for 70s action figures. Many other 70s toys bore a resemblance to the Migos. Mattel's Big Jim was a little taller and more rugged and had action features. But the Mego influence is still obvious. From major toy lines to off-brand figures, mid-70s action figures possessed the classic Mego characteristics smaller size, cloth costumes, vinyl heads, and fully posable bodies. Some of the best Mego-styled 70s figures were the off-brand monster toys, made by small companies such as Ahai, Lincoln, and Tomland. These creatures were often found lurking in gift shops, grocery stores, and dime stores, and were the last echo of the 60s monster fad. The best of these were probably the 1973 Ahai Super Monsters, perhaps the most serious and gothic-looking monster action figures ever made. Ahai changed their design many times during their short run, but their basic appearance was based on the Aurora Monster models, which had just been reissued. After being sold to Nabisco in 1971, Aurora fell on difficult times. Nevertheless, they continued to produce the classic model lines, like the prehistoric scenes. To compete with action figures, Aurora began to make their models posable. In the meantime, they reissued older 60s lines such as their comic scenes and monster models. But now there was serious competition. Other companies such as Fun Dimensions, Adar, and MPC were making imaginative figure kits like the Pirates of the Caribbean and the gigantic insect scenes. 
Aurora finally went bankrupt in 1977, and the Figaro model kit seemed to die with it.